Hi everyone, it's Mad Witch here, and uh, today is not an episode on the Monster Manual, as you can obviously see. I am actually house-sitting for my husband, so I don't have the Monster Manual, and I don't have research for the Monster Manual, and I don't have a way to record the Monster Manual, so we're not doing a Monster Manual video today. Instead, I have three books. Uh, one of them is a notebook that I write in, uh, and they're all about herbs. Because the only research that I have right now is on plants for medicinal and magical uses. So today we're going to talk about aloe vera, as I'm sure you already knew from the title. So we have my notebook here. It's a wreck, to say the least. So we're going to open it up. Aloe vera. Aloe vera is a really cool plant. It's a really cool plant. Um, aloe vera's scientific name is something that I'm not going to try to pronounce, and I might put it on the screen. I might not. We'll find out. But there are actually 300 species of aloe vera, so be sure which one you're working with. Growing aloe vera, you want to use a well-drained, wide, and deep pot. Aloe vera is a succulent, so it really likes drier fertilizer. With <clears throat> it really likes it, succulents are really hardy, and aloe is really hardy. But um, you don't want to water it too often because it is a succulent. So keep its soil a little bit more dry. If the roots get too wet, then they will actually start to rot, and that's actually how most aloe vera plants die. Aloe vera likes bright and indirect sunlight, and they grow best in between 55 degrees and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. They don't like a whole lot of fertilizer, so don't fertilize them too often. Harvesting and storage. It's not a great idea to harvest and store aloe vera because aloe vera does not save very long. You can put it in the fridge and it'll last like two weeks maximum. Or you could put it in the freezer and it'll last a little bit longer, but it's still not fantastic. So the best way to use aloe vera is to have it, um, have it on hand growing fresh and cut it off as you need it that way. Using aloe vera for medicinal purposes, you mostly want to use it externally because uh, if you use it internally, there's a lot of risks. For one, if you use it in an extended amount of time, then your body will actually become dependent on the electrolytes and you won't be able to have um, a normal stomach, like your stomach won't process things the same if it becomes too dependent on aloe vera juice. By the way, you don't just like, you don't just chomp the leaf, you don't, uh, you wanna cut it off and then you cut off the sides and you take off the green part because I don't know if the green part's edible or not, but um, it's the clearish gel on the inside that you really want to eat. And you want to eat it sparingly because it can cause abdominal uh, issues and also diarrhea. So if you're super constipated and like it's just not coming out, maybe drink a little bit of aloe vera juice. You can find aloe vera juice at like Whole Foods and they have nice big jars of it. Uh, it goes great in smoothies. It's really nice. It makes your hair softer. It makes your face a little bit less acne-ish or dry, which brings me to the next part. Even though you don't want to use aloe vera internally as much, it is like super nice to use externally on your face, on your skin. It makes your hair, your face, your skin softer and it actually helps clear up acne or bumps or redness. Um, it's great for light burns. It helps heal that a lot. However, you don't want to use it on large wounds or cuts because while it does have soothing properties and it'll help cool your skin down, it will actually hinder the healing process of larger wounds. Another reason not to use aloe vera internally is because it can actually interfere with other medications. Like with any herb, you probably should not take it internally if you are pregnant, and it can interfere with your menstrual cycle, I believe. But externally, it works with insect bites, 
uh, minor burns and cuts, scrapes, sunburn. Another reason not to take it internally is because if you have a stool infection, it actually has a chemical in it that makes a sort of breeding ground for the bacteria in that case. So as a whole, just be really careful using aloe vera like drinking because uh, it messes with your digestive system. It, it coats your stomach, so it makes it harder to digest things. Metaphysically, aloe vera is tied to the moon, which makes a whole lot of sense because when you cut open an aloe vera plant, it's just like, it's all water. Another thing though, why is it connected to the moon as a planet? Because the moon, I love her, she's not a planet. Neither is the sun. Zodiac wise, it is connected to cancer. My hair is a mess. This is fun. So aloe vera as a plant is very, um, it's very protective. It has a lot of protective energy. It also has a lot tied with good luck. You can burn it. I don't know how, because if you cut the aloe vera, it's just gonna seal up at the edges and you're just gonna have a chunk of very wet aloe juice and then it's kind of hard to burn. But um, I guess if you take the outside and then you dry those individual strips, you can burn it. But if you burn it at a full moon, you will have good luck until the next full moon, which is a habit I might start with but I probably won't because my aloe vera is a little bit of a baby right now. It's customary to put aloe vera on the grave of a loved one to wish them peace. Aloe vera is also a cleansing herb. Is it really an herb? I guess it's more of a succulent. Aloe vera is also cleansing. So if you put it by your front door, it'll help cleanse energy as it comes in and as it goes out. and I suppose if you had some dried aloe strips and you burnt those, that would be cleansing as well. It might be a good replacement for burning sage or lavender or rosemary. So all in all, aloe vera is a very soothing and calming and nice protective herb that is very useful in normal day-to-day -day life. It's a great herb to have just like in your kitchen in case you get like a, if you get a little cut, if you get a little burn. Um, Maybe if you get in a sword fight with someone, don't just like shove aloe vera on that wound because it will hinder the healing, as I said. But um, it's a, it's a very homey plant to just have laying around because it's not super high maintenance and it's super useful, all things considering. And there's this nice uh, quote that I cannot find who actually said it but it's, in a world full of red roses, be someone's aloe vera, having 101 qualities of cure. And I think that sums things up pretty dang well. So that's pretty much all the notes that I have on aloe vera. Boy, no. Okay, he's gone. That was, I just saw a ginormous shadow person. I don't know if he's actually still here. He might be. I don't know. I've been seeing a lot more shadow people recently and I have no idea why. But you know what would help with that? Aloe vera. <laughs> That's going to be it for this video. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I have a Patreon if you want to go down, down, download, donate over there. Uh, I need to let the dog back in. Who's a handsome boy? Okay, come on, Ruger. Come back inside. Um, that's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a good time. Bye.